The federal government plans to suspend its offer of free at-home COVID test by Friday, September 2nd. The program could continue with congressional action if there were resources put to replenish the national stockpile of COVID tests. The program was originally funded with some of the COVID dollars put into the American Rescue Plan Act. And the Biden administration says they're going to be using the existing limited resources they have to obtain as many tests as they can and get them out to the people who need them. But this could be done on a much larger scale if Congress put more resources into the program. The administration said they're just worried about timing, expecting that there could be a COVID surge in the fall as there has been in past years and the tests remain in limited supply. Now, there are other ways to get COVID tests in your home. The first one is to find a retailer or pharmacy close to you. You can check with your local retailer and see what is available. You can also seek insurance reimbursement for some of those at-home tests. Employer-sponsored or marketplace plans typically reimburse eight at-home tests each month for each person on the insurance plan. There are also about 20,000 testing sites in local communities. No-cost antigen and PCR COVID tests are available to everyone in the United States, including the uninsured at more than 20,000 sites nationwide. In the description below, we give you more on how to get your at-home over-the-counter COVID test for free, especially after September 2nd, how to find a testing site near you, and more on that announcement coming from the Biden administration about stopping their free at-home COVID testing program.